Five seconds is called. There's the whistle. Both jammers working to make their way through the pack first. She likes to pound on the wall at the front, but she has lead jam. Suicidal Saucy's lead jam. Now the P-Rax can call this jam off before two minutes by putting her hands on her hips if that is advantageous. Saucy's still keeping crazy legs for a full pass. She makes her way out of the pack. The P-U-X has a natural grand slam. That's a five points. Earned the old fashioned way, a full lap. So we're starting five and oh Saucy's. Now Tits McGee, dogs of the start of a knockout. We see a live Raleigh and Nikana walking. It's going to be Alley Oops jamming for the Saucy's in our second jam. There's our whistle. Alley Oops working to make her way to the front. Tits McGee held by a wall of sauce in the back by Brawley. And here's the inside. And our first cut of the evening goes to Lex Luther. Ellie will take down, but she's back up. She's got lead jam for the Saucy's. Live Rollins blocking. Give you some more. We'll have to pick a little off of Tricks McGee, that last lap. And three points. Three points go up on the scoreboard. That came from Suicidal Saucy's 8-0. Now Crazy Lights is on the line for the second time tonight. Playing throwers on line for the first time right now. There's your whistle. Um, and the Dolce Pena Pito Sinbad 
time for a multiplayer block holding on to another skater. It's Lean Jam for Crazy Legs. So it's Crazy Legs the first Lean Jam of the evening. He's going to try to get more points. And with the Pini Wax edges through, they both go down. A little hit from Huntress at the front of the pack. And that's our, that was our fifth jam. Four points on the board now for the knockouts. Both teams now up on the scoreboard. Kids McGee back on the line, jamming up against Eliups. Hoping to see a low, a low penalty scoring game tonight. Gamers changing positions, dropping before the whistle. I uh, run a layer out getting in Allie for a moment, but Allie is free. She gets the chair, but she's hit out on the straightaway by Librolian. She's still got that lead jam though. Both cameras now working to really make that scoring pass. This is not a scoring pass, Allie. And she falls it off. She's a little trouble getting out of that pack, so she just says, let's just shut it down and start over before anybody gets any funny ideas like scoring points on this.
Mary and the Nickel City Backouts have called a timeout. Timeout Blue. There's no time for me to tell you about Wild Tree. You want healthy and fast meals? Yes. With Wild Tree, you can get no additives, MSG, GMOs, food dyes, or preservatives. It's simple, healthy, and natural. And Rebecca Howell is the independent representative, and she'll be glad to help you with healthy meals made easy. See her out of the program for a coupon. Speaking of our lovely, awesome programs, we'd like to thank Minuteman Printing. Minuteman Press takes care of our needs, our printing needs. They have supported us since the start. For our tickets, posters, and programs, they can help you with your needs too. Check out Minuteman Press of Downtown Buffalo. They're finishing up their time out and placing some skaters on the track in anticipation of our 10th jam. I'm going to start that 10th jam with Ali Oops and Chicks McGee, Gary Minasasi and Knockouts, respectively. You see Baron Fisty starting out in the Sinbin.
And a big shout out to the Niagara Roller Girls, the Seaway Sirens, for buying a group of tickets. Welcome, welcome Sirens. We hope you're having fun watching this. Also, a big welcome to Midnight Maniacs fans and the Saucy Love Posse. The Saucy Love Posse. I think you can with Arby's on me. And also welcome to the Forest City Derby Girls from London, Ontario. The Kilimanjaro crew who came to support the Derby Girls and also our new sponsor, the Rich Pinto. Oh, and our visiting officials, officials who came from Hill and Zoo, Tri-City, Hammer City, Tours. Thanks for, thanks for coming down. Up. Over. And she only gets a certain number of timeouts, so they try to use them strategically. Get your bench in order. Now if you're interested in your group having a nice big block of tickets and getting a big shout out from me to your pal Sheer Tara, why don't you visit us online and find out more about group sales. It's fun, you get a deal, you get to sit with your pals, everybody wins. Now, if you're wondering why the Saucy's just called for that review, they wanted to review a cut track penalty, and it turns out the penalty will not be assessed, so it didn't happen. And with that, we return to the action. We're going to start our 12th jam in this first half of the second game of our double header. It is the Nickel City Knockheads versus the Suicidal Saucy's. Now, that's starting off with Captain Lamb Chop in the same bin. And that was our first whistle, which we didn't get the five seconds, but... Now, Flamethrower may have false started, so she's got to enter basically behind everybody. That's a confusing whistle, I don't think we got the five seconds. And now Flamethrower makes her way through. I believe we have no lead. We're going to see if we have lead jam as we see two blockers in blue and three in red. And from making her way out of the same bay right now. Yeah. All right. Lane Thor managed to protect that situation. She didn't fall star and she got lead jam. And the sausage get ready for a power play. Sassy get ready for a power play as Crazy Legs makes her way. She was a cut track copy. So the coach, Dolce Pena Pinto, Bin Bin, is going to have one resident. As Nancy tries to hold Lamb Chop off a flamethrower. behind Lamb Chop, but Lamb Chop skated out herself, so you do not have to yield to a skater if they go out or down themselves. Now, Flamethrower goes down to the back of the pack, she calls off the jam, two points that lap, seven on the board for the Saucies. Now the officials are calling a timeout. I think they've got a piece of a wrist guard. Yeah, you know, the, 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 the rigid piece that keeps you from breaking your wrist. That's kind of important. That's the important part of the wrist guard. So everybody check your wrist guards. You fans at home, check your wrist guards for that hard piece. I'm just kidding. You guys are wearing wrist guards. You can always test your wrist guards by doing the chicken dance and clapping the early portion of your wrist guards together. We do a lot of clapping in practice. 
I like the golf clubs, so just like the cat. And while we sort this out, while we sort this out, I want to re-encourage you to join us at our official after party at the Alps on Main Street in Conawanda. You can buy your favorite skater a drink and get your program signed. Skaters are turning the track. There's the Kino Axe starting on the Saucy Power Jam. Saucy blockers deep their way backwards. So the knockouts blockers can't really chase as far. Nice big hit from Rex Kittin on the Midnight Man. Kino Axe gets out and is in the back of the pack. We are 20 seconds into this Power Jam, still looking for an initial pass. He goes down and gets the, uh, against the wall of blue. Abercrombie and Fist join the party at the front of the pack. The key wax works to make the way. Crazy Legs. Crazy Legs is out of the city bin. Taking some hits from that wall of red. She's got lead jam in the city knockouts. have put out a formidable array of blockers. There's some real heavy hitters up front there at the Katie's leg. The same could be said in the back of the pack as the Saucies have BB, Huntress, Rex Kitten laying it down on crazy legs. The pack in cycling up. And Noted underdog 
for the state as the Nickel City Knockouts are the 2013 League Champions. So with 12 minutes left plus in our first half, we've got Miss Fire and Tix McGee on the line. Miss Fire working her way around Abercrombie and Fitz. Abercrombie and Fitz is a little too far out front to keep engaging. We jammed Miss Fire, followed closely by Tix McGee. And Tix McGee calls it, or sorry, Miss Fire calls it before Tix McGee is able to catch up or anybody gets any points. So I would say that the Saucy's are trying to protect their lead at this point. They want to get lead jam and call it off, protecting that lead. Game, they're not going to surely have a lot of tricks up their sleeve. There is our whistle. Wing thrower and Crazy Legs move their way off the line. There's Crazy Legs through first, followed closely by Giddy Smart's Lee Jam for Crazy Legs and Nickel City Knockouts. Midnight and Ivana doing some work on, on flamethrowers. She makes her pass. That's crazy, that's his first four and half. She's got five points. So that was uh, four points that last pass. 53-13 now. Surprisingly low, this is a very low scoring game for what hard hitting teams we have here. So we're looking at a very Heavily defensive game. We can look forward to a lot of good hits as we get into the end of this first half. Now, Alleyoops and Tips to Gee are jamming. Alleyoops is past Ivana, past Side Candy. We jam to the, oh, the Saucies. As Hunters, Baby, and Rex are still working to keep Tips. Tips is entering behind Hunters. That's a very long hack. With some bridging. Skaters can bridge the pack definition. That's why you sometimes just see one person standing near somebody else. Now that is a back blocking penalty. Assessed to Alley of Ice in a span. One minute in the same bed. That's going to put the knockouts on a power play. Power down. Headhunters back, back, backing up. Puts the beat back, back, backing up with her. Leandra at the back. Headhunters and Rex making a wall of two. And I believe that was a, a cut track. A penalty has been assessed to Twix the beat. So she's going to go to the same bin. And she's going to only serve the same amount of time that the other jammers just serve because they can't have her here without a jammer. So Allie Oops is going to be free. Twitch is only going to serve that same amount of time. And Sasa, Brawl, Guy Candy, and Little Orphan Rangley looking ready for Oops to pass. Oops makes the red slam. They are holding Maggie to Sod. And they're going for about half a lap. Saucy's are looking to control the pack definition by keeping an opponent blocker behind them. They're doing now with die candy. And there's five points on the work of the Saucy's. And that's the end of our jam. Knockout's jammer released. But she, was, she didn't quite make it on the track and quite have a chance to make 50 points, 68, 13. And I've got Miss Fire and Crazy Legs jamming once again. And there's your assault. Both jammers really working for lead jam as the, ad, the advantage to be so crucial. And by well, the lead jam for Crazy Legs, she made her way through right past Miss Fire, who had been held up by Christy Avon and company. All the blockers getting ready for the jammers to make their scoring pass. Four points on the board for 
for the knockouts, one up for the Saucies, 17 to 69. A little more than seven minutes in our first half, the Dolce Penapito Sabin is vacant. Could begin to feed you 21 to 22 on the line. That inside line being guarded by a Rawlium. Picking for the knockouts. Peewax and Pound, a wall of blue. As uh, it away on the outside, big jam for the knockout. Puts puts three points up on the board for the knockouts. And as we go into our 20th gym of the evening, we see Crazy Legs and Flamethrower. We'll see you back in three weeks as the knockouts take on the alley pass.
I mean, it's a great time for me to ask you if you've noticed the amazing clothing that our 50-50 raffle ticket sellers are wearing. They are wearing awesome ducks from Cats Like Us. Cats Like Us has been our supporter since they opened up a couple years ago. They're on Main Street in Tonawanda, and they will suit all your retro fashion needs. Check out CatsLikeUs.com. Also check out the Lake Effect ice cream over at the merch booth. They have delicious treats. Lake Effect has been supporting us since they've been around as well. Delicious salty caramel. The blood orange sherbet is delicious. Uh, they've also got Queen City Roller Bowl's Rocky Road. Some fun flavors for you. And if you missed it before, a big birthday shout out to Nick Jaworski. That's uh, Coach Andy's brother, Nick. That's Tulina's brother-in-law. So happy birthday, Nick. We will see you March 21st and 23rd at the Convention Center for Motorama March. Check our Facebook page for details or go to buffalomotorama.com. Both teams taking this official time out as a chance to catch their breath. Hydro a little review. I'm sure there's lots of good nuggets of wisdom floating around both benches. We could probably throw several bumper stickers with all the motivational wisdom clips that we could hear on these teams as they both trying to do their best in this second, it was pretty much the second half. Well, a couple more good jams in this first half. And as I mentioned, we're going to treat you to some fun with the rye bread toss. Catch yourself some brunch. Alright, so who need, who's here to see the knockouts? Who wants to see them uh, go a little harder than it's two minutes? Alright, come on knockout fans, let me see you. Let me hear you. Where are my Sazi fans? And then who, who's here to see the Furies? Let's hear it for the Furies. And anybody here from Kilimazoo? Kilimazoo, Jeremy Darling fan? I'm a new, I'm a new Kilimazoo fan. I'm going to come to a ton of fun and if you like fun you think you could be a Queen City Roller Girl come on our website for recruitment info this could be you you can also join us at Rainbow Rink Wednesdays they have open skate we're not practicing per se but you can see a lot of your favorite derby girls just socializing and just working on some informal footwork Wednesdays at Rainbow Rink is about skate night the bar is open Back on the track. Sauce is on 
the power jam, Misfire taking the line by Raleigh making her way out of the sin bin. Ready to let a big hit on Misfire on the straightaway. That's a high block penalty assessed to Misfire. And a cut track penalty. Cut track penalty assessed to Maggie Desai. Oh, no. 
on as she hits the ground. Three points on the board for the Saucies. And now with our second jam of the second half about to commence, we see Abercrombie Chris in the yellow trim shorts and the yellow socks. Looking all spiffy, taking the private cover. It is jamming against Miss Fire.
and a cut card penalty assessed. To Saucy's captain, Alley Snatcher. He's going to start this jam in the Milchie Pen of Pinto Sinbin. Abercrombie and Fist now jamming. And for knockback back against Alley Oops. There's your whistle. Abercrombie just makes her way through the inside. They jam for the Nipple City knockout. Saucy's working to keep Lamb Chop occupied. And Alley Oops skates off a hit. She makes her initial pass. Headhunters hits Fisty out. Fisty enters behind Huntress. Two points on both the Saucy's. Crazy Legs and Misfire take the line to jam. Uh, scores 36 1 11. Saucy's. So Miss Fire working against the wall of blue in the front. She's trying to get around Ivana. All the while Crazy Legs is working against uh, Bikini, Gibby, Huntress. And Crazy Legs makes her way around Bikini Wax to complete her initial pass. We jam versus the Saucies. So Miss Fire calls it as she hits that wall of blue, she gets two points for that pass. Two points up on the board for the Saucies. Oh, 
crowd. Place hit from Hot Damn Zoll. Four points on the board for the knockout. Bella Stiletto makes her way to the sin pin. It's 115.44 Saucy's. By Bowling and Misfire, ready to jam for your sporting entertainment. Let's take off. It is my Bowling who is first, who first, the jam. She's followed closely by Misfire for a second, but Misfire got trapped up in the path. Huntress is going to make her way to the Gulfstream Pound Pinto Sunday. Four points on the board for the knockouts. 2020 left in this matchup. And I see Flamethrower and Abercrombie and Fest take the line. Uh, knockout starting with one more blocker. That was the whistle, but well, cameras hesitate for a second. Plan their, plan their approach. Other Carmen Fist makes her way around Alley Snatcher. She's got lead jam. And up for Flamethrower can deep through with three points. Three and four up on the board. For the knockouts and sauces respectively. Once again we see Crazy Legs and Ellie Oops lined up again. Two jam. Now only Huntress remains in the Dolce Pena Pinto Sinbin with as Bella is ready to make her exit. There's your whistle. By Brawlian. Through the inside and the outside. Lee Jam. Lee Jam knockouts. Ivana holds Ellie Oops at the front of the pack but has to let her go. The Lord can take the little bark off of Bella as Bella and Rex can. Hastens a Brawls pass. Four points to the knockouts. That last jam. Four points, that takes them to 56. I want Lara assess a penalty for hitting after the whistle. And it's our 13th jam. Now we've got Misfire and Crazy Legs. Crazy Legs has got a jam. Huntress is free. And Crazy Legs calls that jam with four points. Three for the Saucies. Discuss things for the next 20 seconds or so. 
and I can discuss with you some very important things, including our support for Chef's Restaurant. When you're a Buffalo, the place to go for Italian is Chef's. It's historic, delicious, 291 Seneca Street, and they are a proud sponsor of the Suicidal Saucies. You can see what the Saucies eat if you check out the QCRG Instagram and Twitter. You can see what we're up to when we're not skating. Is that another turn out? And this turn out draws to a close. Skaters take their place on the track. I see now the alley is going to jam against Live Raleigh, and I believe this is the first time these two jammers have matched up tonight. I brought in doing a little blocking of her own on alley oops, and she makes her way through the outside. She calls off the jam. There's another word from Lake Effect Ice Cream. Are you getting hot from all the derby action? Chill out with some Lake Effect Ice Cream. The booth is by the merch table. It's $3 a serving. There's Crazy Lake and Misfire. Misfire making her way around Meg Desaad to get the jam. Huntress and Alley working to keep Crazy Lake, okay? Misfire makes a pass, a natural grand slam. Baby and Huntress working together at the front. While Ivana and Maggie are working together in the middle of the pack, they hate Miss Fire's pass by hitting her in the chest. All the blockers are on the track, playing offense and defense for their blockers. Their jammers. And it's a 15 jam. So two points on the board for the Suicide Saucies, that's 12. With 15 and a half, that's a quarter of this game left to go. And now the Lancy Live Raleigh and jamming against Flamethrower. I got to make a blocking substitution and put Maggie in for spicy pierogi. Gibby and Rex are working on the brawling in the back of the pack. All the while Maggie and company give the flame at the front. It is live rally in the lead jam. And I got to pinch to the inside, clearing the lane for Librarian, who gets four points, takes them back to the bench. We're now looking at 68-133 Saucies. Don't forget to support Rainbow Rink as they supported us. They can accommodate your party needs year-round. Private parties for your company and friends, fundraisers. Don't forget to check out that adult skate night Wednesday. The bar is open. There's your whistle, Alley Oops and Abercrombie and Fist. Jamming now with 14 plus on the clock. Alley Oops has the jam with 50 close to the game. The knockouts make a wall of blue in front. Maggie protecting the wall from the behind. Ali calls off that jam. Before either blocker, either jammer can make a scoring pass. So no points scored. That quick jam. Now the spiders are jamming once again is a lot of rally in. 
Both teams really minding their penalties near the end of this game. Meet everybody out there. Both teams are thinking. And like Rollin pushes through the middle for the lead jam. Miss Claire makes her way around Toots and Midnight. Slappies race, race up to protect their points as Live Rollin approaches. And she makes her way through and calls off the jam. Four points. Now open at 72, 133. With less than 13 minutes to go. Now at the end of these 13 uh, minutes, remember that if you're not staying to clean up, we want you to go on to the Elks and join us at the after party. There's our whistle. They're all packed together. Elliot takes off the line. Abercrombie and fists down. They took a big ball of blue in front. And there's behind the blocker that hit her out. She gets hit out again. Abercrombie and fists working to take the inside. Bikini and Gibby in her way. Elliot goes down. Abercrombie and fists has lead jam for the University of the Knockouts.
the turn. Yeah. And the maniac plays our big hit on this fire. And the big hit moves away on the outside. Five points up on the board for the Nickel City Knockout. Jamming again. 
standing up against Abercrombie and Fist. Bella Stiletto donning the pivot cover. Lamb chop for the knockouts. Lamchop rushes to meet the hole for Fisty. And she goes on the gets four points and pulls off the jam. We've got another lead change. Another two point game. 135 to 137. With three and a half minutes on the clock. We are guaranteed to see both of these teams put their best wheel forward and leave it all on the track. I probably never fire jamming again. And it looks like Eric's can push both jammers to the inside. While Brawley was able to get out first. Misfire. Misfire making her way around Ivana. And a big hit from BB on the Librarian. Librarian gets four points and calls off the jam. 137 to 139. Another two point lead. Four and four and four. More and more. These lead changes are making your head spin at home. We're with you here at Mango Rank. With two and a half left on the clock. I got to start with two blockers in the sin bin. Fissy making a uh, hit off the block at alley -oops. Constructively, as should you be, you should be thinking about making your way to the X in a few short moments after we find out the outcome of this incredibly well played, really close, action packed, exciting, verbal Fans from both camps are shouting their support. Now there's a minute 23 up on the clock, uh, although that doesn't just mean one jam. As long as there is time up on the top clock, they'll put two minutes on the bottom clock. This could work out into multiple jams. Right now we've got Librolin and Misfire taking the line again. There's your whistle, Librarian blocking the misfire to the best of her own ability. And the grand slam for Librolian, 
Jake Hanna played for Simpson. So it's Adam Sarsi is racing to protect their points. Midnight Mania has a low block penalty. So that little kerfuffle with Gibby. Everyone on the winning side. She's got 10 points. Thank you. 